Hey guys, Dr. Childs here. Today we're going to be talking about thyroid nodules and we're going to be talking about the warning signs that if present may indicate that your thyroid nodule is something more than just a benign nodule. Now, what most people are concerned about when they have a thyroid nodule is that it's somehow related to thyroid cancer, right? There's a small risk that any thyroid nodule that you have in your body um, may be cancerous. And so that's why we care about this. Now, the good news is that while many people, and I'm talking millions and millions and millions of people have thyroid nodules, very few of those nodules are actually cancer in disguise, okay? And so what you can do is you can look at these risk factors, these warning signs, and you can kind of get a better idea as to whether or not your nodule is dangerous. So let's talk about those right now. These are signs that you would want to look for that if present may indicate that your thyroid nodule is something more than just a benign nodule. Now again, remember, before we get into this, about only about 5% or less of thyroid nodules are cancerous. So that means there's a 95% chance right off the bat that yours is just benign nodule and it's not gonna be cancerous, okay? But these signs indicate that it might be a higher likelihood. Now the first thing on this list is the size of the nodule. So most nodules are incredibly small. Most nodules, you don't even know that they're there and they're found, with, they're found in an incidental way. And so oftentimes when I would diagnose these, it would be because we got a CT scan of somebody's chest and then that would just happen to go up and we would see, the, we'd see their thyroid gland and we'd see some small nodules. But most of the time you can't even feel them, you can't even see them. Now, that, now those, the smaller nodules tend to be no problem, right? Generally, now small, small nodules can still be cancerous, but bigger nodules have a higher risk of being cancerous. And so the bigger it is, the more likely that is, that is the case. Now you wanna look for the cutoff at about two centimeters. So about 2.5 centimeters is an inch. So you can kind of go with your hands and kind of get a you know, rough estimate of the size. But you get the idea that a big nodule that's about two centimeters in size, you'd be able to probably see it and feel it through your, through your neck, okay? So through the skin in your neck. So size, big deal. The, the bigger it is, the more likely it is to be cancerous and you need to get it checked out. Now, the second symptom that would be worrisome would be unexpected weight loss. So the, the key here is unexpected, okay? If you're trying to lose weight, um, and you know, you're know you dieting and you're exercising and you're losing weight, not, not really a problem, okay? We're talking here about unexpected weight loss and that's a symptom that occurs in lots of cases of cancer. That's why we're interested in this. So unexpected weight loss is another problem. Now swallowing can be an, an issue too. So now this kind of goes back up to the first one we talked about with size, but if you're having difficulty with swallowing, that's usually an indication there's a problem. Now you don't always see nodules that are big because they can be in the back of your thyroid and in that case they can press upon your esophagus which can cause the problems with swallowing. But if all of a sudden, you know, you're developing some issues with swallowing when you've otherwise been healthy, that's a little bit of a warning sign. Next thing would be voice changes. So generally, small nodules won't impact your vocal cords in any way. Um, it only really occurs if you have really big nodules. So the kind of, again, this kind of goes back up to the size. So if it's a small nodule, you're not going to have issues generally with swallowing and you're not going to have issues with voice changes. So the bigger the nodule, the more likely you are to get these sort of symptoms, which again is why this is such a, a big risk factor. The next thing would be um, neck pain. So we talked about these. Um, neck pain, very unusual. So most of the time, in fact, a lot of people have thyroid nodules and a lot of people have thyroid related issues. So things like hypothyroidism, things like Hashimoto's and things like hyperthyroidism. Now the majority of these conditions do not cause neck pain, okay? So neck pain is a very odd symptom, right? You can get pain in your, in your body, but you, if, even if you have thyroid conditions, you rarely ever have um, pain in the thyroid gland or neck pain in general. Now, neck pain could be a sign that your thyroid is getting too big and it's pressing on things, or it could be a sign that there's inflammation there, or it could be a sign that, you know, there's some sort of growth in the lymph nodes around the area. So neck pain is a, is a big warning sign. So you should not experience neck pain. Another thing that would be unusual um, would be hypo or hyperthyroid symptoms. So generally when you have a thyroid nodule, it's a non-functioning nodule. It's just a growth of cells that's sitting in your thyroid gland. It's not doing anything, um, but it should not be causing any problems to the function of the thyroid gland. So normally the thyroid gland produces thyroid hormones um, and those thyroid hormones help you have energy, they help you regulate your weight, they help your hair grow, they help all these things happen in your body. But even if you have a big nodule, they generally don't impact either of these systems. So even though there's just this big lump on your neck, your thyroid is still functioning relatively normally. Okay, so it, it shouldn't cause any issues. But if you're having hypothyroid symptoms or hyperthyroid symptoms, that is a warning sign because that may indicate that you have an active nodule and those are unusual, right? So active nodules are a concern. Another thing would be age. So if you are less than 20 or greater than 70, then 
it's more likely that your that your nodule is going to be worrisome. So you shouldn't really see a nodule if you're less than 20. So if you're 18 or 19, you got a big nodule, that's probably a, an issue. If you're anywhere between 21, okay, and 69, then that's pretty much the age that we just find them all in people randomly all the time. So it's not really a big deal if you're in between this age. But the older you are, the younger you are, it can be an issue. And I forgot to add one here, and that would be if you have um, lymph node swelling in your neck. So you should not have lymph node swelling in your neck with just a normal run-of-the-mill thyroid nodule. That should not impact your lymph nodes in any way. But if you have chronic um, swelling of the lymph nodes, pain when you touch your lymph nodes, or just enlarged lymph nodes that, that weren't there before, that's also another warning sign. Now, what do you do if you have these issues? Um, because it's, again, it's unlikely that you do, but you might have one or two. If you have several of them, that's a big problem, but just one or two may not be a big issue. But even if you do, your next step is to get an ultrasound and maybe a biopsy. So an ultrasound allows doctors to look at what the thyroid gland is looking like and look specifically at that nodule. And you get an idea as to the characteristics that this nodule possesses. And that, that ultrasound gives you even more information. So you might find things like calcification. You might find things like vascularity. So there's, um, there, there's blood flow inside of the nodule, which is a bad sign. Calcification is also a bad sign. So those are more warning signs that you can get when you look at it. And if that's the case, then the next thing is what we call a biopsy. So if you have these symptoms, go in, you may need to get an ultrasound, which is just to visualize it. And then from there, you may need the biopsy. And then the biopsy is the best way to understand what you're actually looking at. So that's, that's all I have for you on the thyroid nodules. But if you have a thyroid nodule, go ahead and leave um, your concern in the, comments or in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to answer all those comments. And otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one.